Hello everyone, my name is The Question and thanks for checking out my channel. Um, my very first video I did was uh, a collection uh, video uh, doing a quick introduction of my channel and also showing off my collection. Um, so since that time my collection has almost tripled um, so I figured now was a good time um, to kind of uh, you know do an update for 2022. I'm not going to do a reintroduction to my channel, so if you haven't, um, you know, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, you know, you can go ahead and watch like the first 10 minutes of that first video, um, and it'll give you a, a quick introduction to my channel. Um, but uh, here is everything I have so far. Um, I'm currently at, I think, around 850 volumes. Um, so we've got the three Billies here, um, and then I also have these two... Atlantic uh, shelves that I've had probably for 15 years. I originally was using these for video games. Um, then I had like Amiibos on them. Like they, they're a pretty good shelf that's universal that you can kind of fit a bunch of stuff on. And as you can see, it really fits nicely the smaller uh, kind of Viz um, or Seven Seas volumes. Um, some of the more Viz signature ones, you kind of have to fit on some of these uh, middle shelves that are a little a little bigger. Um, but but otherwise, they've worked out really good for for manga. So I've definitely got some room here, as you can see. Um, and then I just built this third Billy uh, in the last few weeks, so <laughs> these are already getting fairly full. Uh, so I do have room for a fourth on this wall uh, once I need it. Um, but that's it. So let me go ahead and start going through everything. And so I'll switch and get a, get a little closer in. I'll do kind of just, um, I'm not going to go too in depth, in depth to every, um, you know, manga that you see on the shelf. Um, but if you have any questions about anything, you can let me know in the comments. Um, but let's go. Okay. So let's start with the box sets. Uh, here we have the complete cheese sweet home box set. Uh, we have the Pandora Hearts box set, which uh, was in my last haul video uh, that had gotten uh, reprinted by Yen Press. Uh, so I've not opened that yet. Um, we have the first box set I ever got, which was the Princess Jellyfish complete box set. Um, that was a really good series. Um, we have the Akira box set, and then we have the Bakuman complete box set. So that's all the box sets I have. Um, not a ton of them. I mean, they, there's not a lot of series that they make box sets for um, that I generally have interest in. I mean, there's Naruto, like Dragon Ball, One Piece, kind of the more action-heavy ones. Um, so let's go ahead and start with my first section here. Uh, so we have Alice and Zoroku, kind of just a random volume there I picked up that I haven't checked out yet. We have all of the ancient Magus Brides, so 1 through 15. And then we've got... Uh, a couple of like the supplemental uh, kind of books. And then we have the side stories, uh, Jack Flash and the Fairy Case Files, and then Wizards Blue. Um, we've got kind of a random Animal Crossing New Horizons volume. Um, Anonymous Noise is a series I've been interested in and I found volumes one and three at a used place. Uh, so I haven't actually, um, you know, made the effort to get more of those. We've got Become You, which came out a long time ago, um, and I don't know what happened with this series. This is, um, you know, I expected other volumes to come out, but I guess it must have been canceled. Um, Boy Meets Maria, which is a really good, uh, a really good one-shot volume. We've got Burn the Witch. We've got some Chainsaw Man. I kind of picked that up just because, you know, people are talking about it. It's a highly hyped series. Um, but Right Stuff has still not sent me Volume 1 and 2, so I have uh, 3 through 8. We've got Cowboy Bebop. Um, I'm missing the two pricier uh, volumes. And we've got Die Dark, which is a really great series. We've got Dreaming Sun, 1 through 10. That's completed. Moving over here. So I'm missing Volume 1 of Giant Spider and Me. I've had that um, back ordered on right stuff for a while. Um, I don't think it's going to come back in stock, so I might just end up having to pick that up because that's just a three volume series and I've really, uh, really wanted to start reading it. Uh, so I might just, uh, just pick it up on Amazon or something like that. 
And then we've got Girl from the Other Side uh, series that just ended, and I'm missing uh, 4 and 8, which were back ordered. We've got Go With Grace, which I haven't read yet. Uh, it just looked uh, looked kind of neat on the, on the shelf, and it was uh, only a few dollars, so I checked that out. We've got the first Gunslinger Girl omnibus, uh, some of the Dark Horse HP Lovecraft mangas, three volumes of Flying Witch, and then we've got 0 through 13 of Jujutsu Kaisen. This is a series that I'm actually currently reading. Uh, you can see Seven's missing here. That's on my sh on my to read uh, shelf. Um, this is a series like Chainsaw Man. I wasn't sure if I was going to have any interest in, so I just kind of randomly decided to check it out. Um, and the volumes were fairly cheap during a Right Stuff sale. Um, so I'm at volume seven. Um, volume six was probably my least favorite. Volume six is literally just the whole volume is just one big battle. Um, and that's kind of my problem with a lot of, I don't really like, or I'm not really that into a lot of action, uh, manga. And so having one volume just be a whole fight, um, it was, it was pretty boring to me. Um, I, I did enjoy the first one through five, um, but that sixth volume with it just being like pretty much a nonstop fight, um, I could not, yeah, could not have had less interest in that volume. Um, so, so hopefully, you know, it kind of moves on to more storytelling and character building um but um but yeah so i'm kind of still up in the air on if i'm going to uh keep buying uh the series you know we'll kind of see how those last uh last volumes that i read check out and then we've got um kageki uh shoujo and then we've got one through 12 of Comey can't communicate i had read through i think the first four um, but I didn't have six, so I have six now, so now I can start reading this again. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next shelf. Okay, so continuing on to the second shelf, now we've got uh, the rest of Come We Can't Communicate. We have Livingstone Volume 1, um, which I don't have any more of. Uh, we've got the three volumes of Mashal, that's a really funny uh, kind of series. Um, a random volume of Moriarty. Um, a couple volumes of Nana. This is a series that I've been looking forward to them reprinting. Uh, they're slowly, they reprinted volumes one and two. Um, I think volumes three, four, and five are scheduled for a reprint uh, this month. We've got Nicola traveling around the demon's world. Uh, this is a short, uh, this is a completed series. So these four volumes are it. Um, I've not checked that out. That has a kind of cute look to it. We've got Orange, the Complete Collection, Volumes 1 and 2, and then the Future Volume. Uh, this is a really great series. Um, Our Dreams at Dusk. Um, I have Volume 4 on back order from Right Stuff. Uh, once I get that in, I'm going to check this series out. I've heard really great things about it. We have the eight volumes of Parasite. Uh, this is a fantastic series. Highly recommended for anybody who likes... Um, you know, who likes basically Jinji Ito, you know, this is kind of, uh, um, kind of a similar vein, just really good, uh, horror. Um, but there's comedy in it too. So there's definitely, uh, a lot to get out of this series. We have a perfect day for love letters. I have both volumes of that. Um, I haven't actually heard anybody ever talk about this series. Uh, it's kind of like an anthology, um, book. Um, I just kind of randomly saw them on eBay and uh, grabbed them, and uh, it's it's enjoyable. It's not, I mean, it's kind of like most anthology series. Uh, it's definitely hit or miss. There's some there's some stories that aren't as good, um, but uh, but yeah, it was an enjoyable short two volume series. And moving on to the next shelf, we have all of Platinum End. Uh, I just recently got volume three in. That's the harder to find volume, uh, so now I can actually start reading this. I'm not sure. I might just wait till volume 14, which is the final volume that comes out um, later this year, and then just binge it all uh, then. We've got uh, this horror volume called Portis. Um, not not great, not bad, but uh, it's, you know, it's okay. Um, and then we've got The Promised Neverland. I've really been looking forward to getting, uh, to getting all the volumes of this. So I still have volume six as you see there missing uh that is on back order from right stuff uh so once they send that to me i'll start uh, checking this series out 
Um, I did watch the first season of the anime and uh, really enjoyed it. And then we've got uh, Satan's Secretary, which uh, I think was canceled because this volume is, is, I think, over a year old and there's never been any more. Um, we've got uh, Satoko and, and Nada, two volumes. We've got the one-shot uh, Suzanne and Comic Girl, which I haven't read, which is in full color. And then we've got two random volumes of I Am a Hero Omnibus, uh, volume one and three. Um, I'm you know, just slowly collecting that series when I find it. Uh, so that's that shelf. Okay, so this next shelf, uh, we have Beastars 1 through 6. Uh, this is a series that I'm really looking forward to finally getting into. Um, I've, I got these first six in a, in a Reddit uh, swap, um, but I've not ch started checking that out yet. We have Beyond the Clouds Volume 1 to 3, a series that the volumes are incredibly slow coming out. I think it's almost a year in between each volume, uh, but if you're into like Studio Ghibli movies, uh, this is a great series. I've really enjoyed these first three volumes. We have Blue Period Volume 5. Uh, the other four are on back order from Right Stuff, waiting to get those in. We have Boys Run the Riot Volumes 1 through 3. This is a fantastic series, probably my favorite series of 2021. Um, unfortunately, it's wrapping up. I was I didn't even know that Volume 4 is actually going to be the final volume, so I'm pretty disappointed. I was hoping for, you know, a good 10 to 15 volumes. Uh, I, I can't imagine how the story is wrapping up in 4. Uh, it seems like it's just getting started, but uh, really looking forward to that final volume. Then we've got some smaller volumes here. We've got The Girl with the Sanpaku Eyes, I have not read yet, and then Happy Kaneko's Killer Life Volume 1 and 2. Then we've got eight volumes of Hakumi and Makochi. Um, this is another kind of cute looking series. Kind of looks similar to Nicola traveling around the demon's world. Uh, looking forward to checking that out. We have Land of the Lustrous 1 through 11. Um, some gorgeous artwork. Um, I have not started uh, reading through that series. And then we have A Man and His Cat, Volume 1 through 4. This is one of the first uh, manga series that I started reading when I got back into manga. And uh, I love this love this series. If you enjoy kind of heartwarming stories, uh, if you love cats, uh, this series is uh, sh should be for you. And then going down here, we have, as you can see, I have the complete set of Slam Dunk. Um, I just finally got this in not too long ago, um, so I have not started reading this yet, um, but I'm a big basketball fan, um, so I'm definitely looking forward to finally getting to check this series out. We've got a random volume of Snow White and the Red Hair that I found at a used place. Um, haven't read that yet. We've got the six volumes of Spy Family. i had been waiting for a few to come back into stock, um, so now I can actually read past the first volume. And then we've got Super Mario Manga Mania, um, which is a single volume, um, and that's it for that shelf. Okay, moving on to this shelf. As you can see here, we have Golden Kamui 1 through 24. I have 24 volumes of the series. I have not started reading it yet, um, but I will. Sometime here this year, I promise I'll start reading that series. We've got two volumes of The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again today. Um, we've got two random volumes of Oku, or Uku. Um, we've got um, Anelia and Dualia, volumes one through three. That's a completed series. And then we've got the first eight volumes of Witch Hat Atelier, another one of my favorite series. I love, uh, I love this series so much. Um, and Anelia and, du and Duelia is by the same creator, so I've not started, I've not checked out that series yet. It's a three volume, it's completed. Um, but I can't recommend Witch Hat Out There enough. Fantastic artwork, uh, great, great story. Um, definitely check that out. And then we've got uh, Video Girl AI 1 through 15. This was a pickup a couple months ago. Uh, they had the whole series at a used store, so I picked this up. We've got a White Rose in Bloom Volume 1, um, I've heard good things about, um, picked up the first volume. We've got a random volume of Yotsuba, a series that I want to collect at some point. 
And then we've got one through six of Yuzu the Pet Vet, another series that I hear no one ever talk about. This is a fantastic series. Um, I thought it was more like for kids, um, but once I read it, it's, um, I mean, it is enjoyable for all ages. Um, but if you love animals, um, I can't recommend this series enough. It's, uh, you know, it's got sad stuff. It's got happy stuff, all kind of the highs and lows of, of, uh, being a pet owner. Um, and then dealing with, uh, taking your pets to the vet. So I can't recommend this enough. I think volume seven comes out next month. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been delayed a while, uh, but these first six volumes are great. Okay. And these bottom shelves here. Um, we have uh, a bunch of random volumes of Natsume's Book of Friends. Uh, if you saw my last uh, December haul, um, Right Stuff had this on sale during their holiday sale, so I got the whole series. Um, and these are the random volumes that they've sent me so far. Obviously, I don't have one through four and some other ones, so I can't start reading it yet. We've got uh, Kitchen Princess Omnibus, volumes one, two, and four. Um, Spoiler alert, I'll have volume three from my January haul, um, but this was another one that just got picked up recently. We've got Kaiju number eight, volume one, which everyone is raving about. We've got a couple volumes of Dr. Stone. We've got um, I Hear the Sunspot, uh, a few volumes. I'm missing one of those. And then we've got Hanako and the Terror of Allegory. These are some more pickups that just recently came in uh, last month. And my final volume here on the very far below, we have Pompo the Cenophile, Volume 1 and 2. Series I don't hear anybody talk about. Um, I've only read the first volume, but if you're a movie buff, um, definitely check this series out. I really enjoyed it. I was going to wait till a few volumes kind of pile up and then read some more. We've got Real 15. That's a series I definitely want to get all of this year. Uh, volume 15 just came out after a long hiatus, uh, so I need to get the first uh, 14 volumes. We've got a few volumes of The Way of the House Husband that I picked up at a used place. Uh, as you can see, I don't have three. And then we've got uh, another slept on series, The Witch and the Beast. I've got volumes one through seven. I've read through one through six and really enjoyed it. Um, I'm probably, once again, uh, as an old person, my memory is not great, so it's, you know, reading stuff volume by volume when you've got a lot of series uh, is kind of hard, so I like to, I'll probably wait till the series concludes, um, and then go back and reread through all of it, um, but I do have the first seven volumes of that. Okay, so moving on to the Billy bookshelves. Uh, this first uh, bookcase I have kind of uh, creator-specific uh, shelves. So starting out here, we have Jinji Ito. Uh, I, he's one of my favorite manga creators. Um, I really love all of his work. I've, I've enjoyed all of these books. Uh, I have actually read every one of these. So we have uh, Geo, Tome, Uzumaki, uh, Deserter, which is the most recent release. We've got Frankenstein, Love Sickness, Shiver, Smashed, Fragments of Horror, No Longer Human, Ramina, Sensor, Venus in the Blind Spot, Dissolving Classroom, which is getting a hardcover re-release, and then we've got Cat Diary, which ha already had a hardcover uh, release that you'll see later. And then to fill out this shelf, I kind of throw in some more horror uh, science fiction stuff. So we've got the three Drifting Classroom hardcovers, we've got Reptilia, we've got the three scary books, we have Presents. And then we've got the two Neo Parasite F and M, which are uh, kind of anthology volumes following up on the Parasite series uh, by different creators. Uh, so that's all of that section. And now we have our Tezuka um, shelf. So we've got, I've got a bunch of the digital uh, platinum manga releases that were kickstarted, um, and then some other stuff. So we have Alabaster Volume One and Two. We've got Adam Cat, Aoko. Uh, the Book of Human Insects, Brave Dan, uh, both volumes of Captain Ken, Clockwork Apple, which this reprint just recently came out. Um, we've got the Giant, uh, or we got Crime and Punishment, the Giant Dororo Omnibus Edition, both uh, volumes of Ludwig B, uh, Melody of Iron, uh, Dark Horse released some smaller little volumes of his work. So we've got Metropolis, and then uh, the two Next World volumes. Um, and then we got um, MW, which is not pronounced that way, but just for this look, it looks like that. Uh, Record of the Glass Castle, 
uh, Storm Fairy, Swallowing the Earth, Triton of the Sea, Volume 1 and 2, Under the Air, and then Wonder 3. So that's my Tezuka shelf. And then with the Billies, I like to add an extra shelf to kind of fill in some of the dead space. Um, so I usually use two extra, I usually buy two extra shelves uh, to put in to give, uh, you know, to fill up some of the, some of the empty space in it. So here we have the Paradise Kiss uh, 20th Anniversary Edition, which is a great series. We've got Akira Toriyama's uh, manga theater hardcover that recently came out. We've got uh, Planetus, one of the best manga I've ever read. I uh, can't recommend this enough. It's a two-volume uh, omnibus series. Uh, it's the same creator of Venland Saga, so if you enjoy that, definitely check out uh, his older work here. We've got What's What's Michael Fat Cat Collection, Volume 1 and 2. Um, this is a really fun series. Um, and then we've got the hardcover Cat Diary of Junji Ito. Um, once again, I love Junji Ito. I love cats. So you combine those into one and, uh, yeah, can't have enough of that. So I have the soft cover and then also this new hardcover that just came out. And then we've got some of the Dark Horse... Um, some of the Dark Horse Deluxe Editions. We've got 1 through 9 of Berserk. Uh, this is a series that I actually read a completely through for the first time in December. Um, and it blew away any expectations I had for the series. Um, I didn't, you know, I was, you know, it's pretty hyped as like one of the greatest series uh, of all time. And uh, and it definitely, uh, you know, I definitely felt that it, it is definitely up there. Uh, great artwork. Great storytelling. Some of the best. I'm usually not a big. I'm not big into action scenes, um, and this is some of the best action scenes I've ever read in a manga. It's really easy to tell what's going on. Um, it's you know it's it's very detailed artwork. Um, yeah, just can't recommend it enough. Um, if you're into any series, uh, definitely give Berserk a shot. And then I've got the four or four volumes of Blade of the Immortal. Um, the last two were from last month's uh, sales, and um, but yeah, that's it for the shelf. Okay, so here's another one of the kind of those little sideways shelves where I can fit some extra stuff. Um, so we've got Love on the Other Side, which is by the creator of The Girl from the Other Side, uh, kind of a short story collection. I've not read that yet. We've got Pink, Helter Skelter, uh, Abitsu. We've got Tekken Concrete uh, by Teo Matsumoto. Uh, you'll see a shelf for him down below. Um, Dementia 21 Volume 1 and 2. My Brother's Husband, kind of a giant uh, oversized omnibus. We've got My Broken Mariko, Abara, uh, Ninji Gahara Holograph uh, by Asano, who has a shelf down below. And then we've got The Strange Tale of Panorama Island, which is uh, a disturbing uh, but really good uh, book. So now we've got the Matsumoto section. We've got Blue Spring, Cats of the Louvre, Go Go Monster, uh, number five, which is uh, being re-released. I think it's going to be five volumes. Um, I read through the first one, thought it was great, but I'm going to have to wait till all of them are out because uh, it's a very complicated series. So I'm going to forget everything uh, in between each volume. Um, and then Ping Pong, which I have not read yet. Then we're going to Asano. Um, I have a ton of his stuff. We've got Dead Dead Demons, DD, DDD, Destruction, 1 through 10, Downfall, A Girl on the Shore, Goodnight Pun Pun, Solonen, and What a Wonderful World. So I've read through all of these other than um, Dead Dead Demons, uh, Destruction. I'm going to wait till that's concluded and read it. Uh, but I have read through all the rest of these. Um, I finished Pun Pun in November. Um, I love Solonen. Solonen's probably my favorite of what I've read, um, but um, but yeah, that's my Asano shelf and uh, Teo Matsumoto shelf. Then down below is all Shuzo Oshimi. Uh, we've got the seven volumes that are out of Blood on the Tracks. That's a fantastic series. Um, we've got The Flowers of Evil Complete, one through four. I have not read this yet. We've got 1 through 10 of Happiness, a really good vampire series. We've got uh, seven volumes of Inside Mari. And then we've got a short story collection, Shino Can't Say, or not a short story collection, a one shot, uh, Shino Can't Say Her Name. Um, he has a bunch of books being released in 2022 in English for the first time, so I'm really looking forward to some of these because uh, I really like his artwork and his storytelling. 
Um, can't recommend, um, at least the ones I've read enough. So I can't recommend, Happiness is great, Blood on the Tracks is great. Um, and then this bottom shelf here, we have a lot of Rumiko Takahashi books. We've got these new Viz releases. Uh, they're really well done of Mice and Akoku 1 through 6. We've got Mermaid Saga 1 and 2. We've got One Pound Gospel, which I haven't read yet, that I picked up uh, from a used place. And then we're going to go through um, some Natsume Ono stuff. We've got Aka 13, 1 through 6, and the side stories. We've got Danza, House of Five Leaves, uh, La Quinta Camera, Not Simple, uh, Restaurante Paradiso, and Tesoro. Um, so some short story collections, some series. Um, but yeah, I really like Ono's artwork. Um, highly recommend uh, checking her out if you haven't. Um, but that's that bottom creator shelf. Okay, next we're on to my Naoki Urasawa shelves. Uh, he is my favorite manga creator, just barely above Junji Ito. Um, I really love, uh, most, of, most of his series are high up on my favorite series of all time list. So we've got 20th Century Boys, uh, the 11 volumes, and then the one uh, 21st uh, Century Boys volume. We've got the nine Monster uh, Perfect Editions, or uh, Omnibus Editions, whatever you want to call them. Uh, from Viz. Uh, this is a fantastic series. Going down, we've got Master Keaton, 1 through 12. Um, we've got Pluto, uh, 1 through 8 completed. And then we've got uh, Pineapple Army, the Viz uh, graphic novel release. And then we've got Sneeze, a, sh a short story collection, uh, Majorushi, and then uh, Asadora, which is his current ongoing series being re released by Viz. Um, got the four volumes of that. So uh, a bunch of great stuff there. Um, you know, can't recommend enough all of his series. Then in this middle aisle, we've got kind of a bunch of smaller stuff, some Glacier Bay books. Uh, we've got Pez, Children of Mootown, Rabbit Game, Ripples, The Tipping Point, um, and Ravina the Witch. We've got Magician A, I'm a Cat, The Walking Cat, um, you can see a cat theme with a lot of my manga. If it's got cats on it, I'm almost certainly going to check it out. So, And then we've got a bunch of uh, Satoshi Kon uh, books, his four English uh, books that got released in English. Um, he is a fan, he, you know, he passed away, but he was a fantastic uh, film director. Um, and, um, and these are the manga releases that have came out uh, for him. Going down one more shelf, we have the Helsing um, Deluxe Editions from Dark Horse, uh, which just came in my last month's haul. And then we've got a bunch of Moto Hagayo books. Uh, I really enjoy her stuff. Um, I have not read The Heart of Thomas yet or the Poe Clan volume, but I've read all the other stuff. Um, Four Shoujo Stories is great, uh, Other World Barbara, Little Leo. Then we've got some uh, Ryoko Akita books. We have Claudine, the kind of small volume there. And then we've got the five Rose of Versailles uh, hardcovers. And then we've got Love Song. Okay, going down to another little smaller shelf, we have uh, Sigatera um, volume one and Utsubora, the story of a novelist, which is a one shot. We have Love and Focus Complete Collection, which I just finished, uh, and that's a really good, um, I think it's three, uh, three in one volume there. We've got the three volumes of Imperfect Girl. And then we've got a bunch of Kaori uh, Ozaki uh, books. We have the three volumes of The Golden Sheep, and then The God's Lie, which is a one shot. And next we have my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure shelves. We've got uh, part one, part two, and then part three. As you can see, I'm kind of missing some volumes here. I've been slowly collecting these. Right Stuff had a bunch on sale and back ordered, so um, we got part going into volume four, or part four, and then you see a couple volumes of part five there on the next shelf. And down here we have Blank Canvas, my so-called artist journey, which is a five volume series by the creator of uh, Princess Jellyfish. Um, we've got Doro Hidoro. I'm missing the same volumes that tons of people are, which is two and three, and then 23. At least two and three I'll randomly see pop up, 
23 I never see pop up, which is the final volume. So hopefully this year they reprint that stuff. Um, we've got Frau Faust, which is by the same creator of the Ancient Magus Bride. And then we've got uh, Ikigami. Um, I've not started reading this series yet. I, I got this in a right stuff, or not right stuff, in a Reddit uh, swap. Uh, volumes 1 through 10. So that's everything for this Billy. Okay, so this is my final Billy. So let's move on to uh, the Kaori Mori stuff. So I've got the 12 hardcovers of Bride Story from Yen Press. Um, these are really nice looking hardcovers. Uh, as you can tell, the spines, the artwork is great. Um, and it's also, she's also the same creator of the Emma hardcovers. Um, I'm missing the Elusive Volume 4. Hopefully I get that sometime this year so I can read through that series. We've got these nice two erased hardcovers. We've got the Ghost and the Lady Book 1 hardcover. And then we've got the five volumes of St. Young Men. Um, going down here, um, in the Right Stuff holiday sale, they had all these Full Metal Alchemist uh, hardcovers for sale, the whole series. And these are the random ones they've sent me so far. Um, as you can see with Volume 6, one of the bad things about these hardcovers is that metal kind of uh, ink that they used uh, rubs off real easy. Uh, these came like that. As you can see, 6, it's kind of rubbing off a little bit. And then we've got Venland Saga. Um, most of these I just got during the Barnes & Noble end of uh, after Christmas uh, half-off hardcover sale. Uh, so I'm still missing book nine, but I have the other volumes here. Uh, I, since I love Planetus, I can't wait to start reading this. Moving down the shelf, we have two manga adaptations of anime movies. We got Summer Wars and Wolf Children. We've got a couple short story collections, Maiden Railways, All My Darling Daughters, and then we've got uh, a recently released box set um, of Ryoku, um, the complete manga collection. We've got the three volumes of Imanon, which I recently read. We've got Robo Sapiens and An Invitation from a Crab. Okay, so for this next shelf, we've got some uh, Hiro Taniguchi books, uh, Summit of the Gods, the Ice Wanderer, Skyhawk, uh, some nice hardcovers here, a journal of my father, a zoo in winter. We've got the five uh, kind of omnibus volumes of Eagle, the making of an Asian American president. Uh, it's very weird that the first one doesn't have book one. It kind of looks odd with the other ones all having book on the thing, on the spine. Um, and another weird thing about this series, if you notice, See how volume three is very yellowed compared to one, two, four, and five. So I thought, you know, that's just kind of a random, uh, you know, this volume was separate or maybe something like that. Um, but I saw this uh, another person selling this five volume set and it was exactly the same. One, two, four, and five were perfectly white. And then volume three of theirs was heavily kind of yellowed like this. So it must have just been something with the printing, because that would be really random that just two people, uh, you know, this series I never see for sale. Um, and both people just randomly had the same volume that was yellowed compared to the rest. So that's Eagle. And then we've got some um, Drawn and Quarterly, some more. This is classic manga stuff. We've got The Boxman, uh, The Sky is Blue with a Single Cloud, Cigarette Girl. Um, red Colored Elegy, Red Red Rock, uh, Fukushima Devilfish, Red Snow, some Tatsumi books, um, Slum Wolf, Trash Market, and then these nice uh, Drawn and Quarterly uh, Tatsugi books that they're releasing. Uh, these are the first two, The Swamp and Red Flowers. And going down a little bit more, we have uh, Tohyo Game Volume 1. A Life Turned Upside Down, My Dad's an Alcoholic. Uh, Steins Gate, the complete manga. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive hardcover. We've got my Makoto Shinkai. A uh, little stack here. Uh, a bunch of these came recently from a Right Stuff sale. Uh, the only one I've read is She and Her Cat, um, which I thought was okay. I wasn't that impressed with. And then we've got uh, the four volume complete Skullface bookseller Honda-san, which is great. Uh, anybody that's worked retail uh, should be able to relate to some stuff in that. And then we've got Rainbow and Black. It's going down here. Uh, we already saw these two JoJo volumes, but we've got the Attack on Titan Omnibus. I have not started reading this series yet, so I figured um, I'll pick up these Omnibus um, volumes. I was thinking about the Colossal Editions, but um, 
it's kind of disappointing that they're not hardcover. I would have I would have definitely gone with those if they were hardcover. We've got Death Note Black Editions, one of my favorite uh, manga series. And then I've got the 13th How to Read volume, and then I've got the two light novels. I'm not really a light novel fan, and I only read, I read another note, and I did not really care for it. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I'm going to read the other one, or I'm just going to keep it in my collection. And then my final shelf here, we have Kino's Journey. We've got some random volumes of Saturn Apartments, um, so I'm still missing 3, 4, and 6. And then we've got Tokyo Tariba Girls. Um, this is a series I've been wanting to read by the same creator of Princess Jellyfish. Um, so I got all these volumes in my last uh, Rights to Fall. So that's all my shelves. Okay, so that is my uh, my collection. That's all. Um, like I said, I think I tracked it through Libbib, which is the the site I use to do my uh, to do my kind of collection uh, tracking and I think I'm at a, about 850 volumes um, currently um, with many more to come um, so this is everything I have at the beginning of 2022 uh, like I said in the beginning if you have any questions about any series or there's anything based on my collection that you recommend I pick up go ahead and let me know in the comments um, but uh, and this if, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos I do monthly haul videos um, my December haul was pretty gigantic um, we'll probably be slowing down here um, you know more to a standard kind of f around 50 volumes I would say um, in a month um, but there was a ton of sales in December so anybody have any questions or any comments about my collection go ahead and let me know and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this and thanks for watching